and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Love Reading. I am going to use one of the Jennifer Aquarius um, decks today. So I'm using the Flaming Roses Hidden Truth Oracle. So I'll be using this along with a couple of other decks to find out what it is we need to hear about love today. So let me start with the Blunt, uh, the blunt Truth message card. You can buy these on my Etsy store. So let's see what it is we need to hear from your person. I'm avoiding our connection. I'm fairly sure we are all used to hearing that message. Um, and we have, leave me alone, please. Okay, someone needs some space today. So let's find out why is this person needing space today? What is going on? They want some distance. They want some time. So let's see what's triggering them because there's clearly something. Something stung them. I'm showing a bumblebee. I'm showing a bumblebee very, very clearly. Um, so either something stung them or they're worried that if you reach out to them today, then you will get stung. Still feel fuzzy feelings. So this person is saying, look, today, please leave me alone. But this doesn't mean my feelings for you have changed. Something has affected this person. Um, I don't know if it's to do with work or something's going on with them. But today, they definitely need some space. Love spell. So if this person's kind of been a bit quiet today or, um, you know, kind of feel it feels like they're maybe avoiding this connection, this relationship with you, don't worry about it because they feel for a lot of you, this is not reflective of how this person feels about you. They're avoiding this connection today because of other reasons. Make sure you chill out as much as you can because it's so easy. If someone feels withdrawn, we always take it personally, right? We feel like, oh, well, it must be us that they don't want to speak to, but that's not true. This person's not saying, I don't want to speak to you. They're saying, I just need some space. I need to be left alone, but it might very well have nothing to do with you. Look, still feel fuzzy feelings, love spell, heart in knots. This person's like admitting that their feelings for you are still strong. In fact, if anything, Okay, this is getting interesting. If anything, it's getting stronger. Love is igniting. So what I feel here is you've been dealing with someone who's been soul searching, someone who's been a little bit withdrawn, but they made a promise to come back to you once they had finished this cycle of healing. So this person's been, like I said, soul searching for perhaps a bit of time, but they're feeling that love coming back. This person's recently completed a very, very big chapter and um, they kind of made a promise to you, whether it's like an actual promise or whether it's like it was unsaid. There was always this feeling of, I'll come back to you once I finish my lesson. But look what came out in reverse, spying. Someone has seen something that they wish they hadn't. I honestly feel a lot of you, this person is keeping tabs on you and they've recently seen something that they wish they hadn't seen or perhaps you've seen something you wish you hadn't seen and maybe someone here just feels very triggered, someone feels a little bit stung but that's not reflective of how this person truly feels. I feel... Um, Literally something set in a light here. So this person starting to develop some very warm feelings for you. Time for change. This person saying, look, I, I understand that it's time that something shifted within our connection. I know I made this promise. I know I, you know, I know I want to be with you. I know I said that we would, we would make this work. And the love, like, is honestly, like, it's on fire. Like, this person, how they feel about you, even if they're kind of a bit avoidant today, the love is there. So let's see how this person feels about you right now. Twin flame connection. 
getting through the struggles. So yeah, masculine hiding secrets on the bottom. So this person feels like this connection is a twin flame one. They acknowledge that you two have some major obstacles to overcome. The twin flame connection is not for the lighthearted. You know, this is not an easy connection. It's not, you know, rainbows and dancing like this is hard this is hard work and this person does feel like you two are overcoming some major obstacles right now and they want to um they want to kind of come to you when they feel ready to show you their love but they also feel like you two are just at each other's throats a little bit right now that's why they want to be left alone because they don't want you two to engage in another toxic cycle um or another sexual cycle it might be that you two get caught up in a very sexual connection and it kind of hurts both of you so this person's trying to avoid that they've been trying to get help for that um i also feel for a lot of you this person has um a, like changing moods very very quickly so one minute they can be really loving and caring and the next they can be you know really quite mean quite cold so it's like this person doesn't want to hurt you by coming in too soon they have these feelings for you and it's like they don't know how to handle them getting to know each other and wedding so i do feel that this person's going to come in they are going to be less flirty. I feel a lot of the sexual energy is like being contained. So this person's coming in. I feel that you two are going to start to open up to each other. And the wedding card is talking about union. So the more you two speak, the more you two kind of develop this bond um, and reveal kind of what's going on with you both um, within, it seems like you're moving much closer to a more committed relationship. I see the divine feminine in this connection really, really wanting to have that commitment with her divine masculine really wanting to have that um, physical relationship you know the divine feminine here is saying look how much longer do i have to wait you know i don't know what you're showing to me i don't know what we are projecting to each other but i need to know you know how much longer we're talking here the divine feminine seems very impatient today and um, really quite frustrated at what is you know, what time it is taking to prepare. This is the preparation card. So the Divine Feminine definitely feels ready um, for union here, ready for a relationship. But she's projecting some kind of fear out there. Like, I'm not going to lie. The Divine Feminine is clearly feeling a little bit attached today. And the Divine Masculine is saying, look, please give me space when you're in this attachment energy. Um, I need to work some things through. We've got the mystery card. So the Divine Masters are saying, look, let this remain kind of like a bit of a mystery for now um, because I'm still overcoming my obstacles. I'm still closing out this cycle. Yeah, freedom. The Divine Masculine is facing some kind of inner child issues or could be issues to do with his own children if he is a parent because the parent card came out. So the Divine Masculine is definitely focusing on parenting, whether that's his own or whether that's reparenting himself, his own inner child. And the Divine Feminine, you know, you're being guided today to just give your Divine Masculine a little bit of space. Okay, let's use some tarot. Let us see what is coming next so what can we expect to happen here an offer comes in the four of cups this person comes in with an offer but they come in when perhaps you are not fully expecting it this offer approaches very suddenly look the tower divine family seems to be throwing like I wouldn't say a tantrum, but they seem to be getting really, really frustrated with the lack of speed from her divine masculine, especially when it comes to communicating his feelings or perhaps anything here. So the divine feminine is like, look, I'm getting really sad at the lack of communication. And it's when she's feeling a little bit sad, but I actually feel her divine masculine will reach out. Or just after she's kind of picked herself up after this sadness, you know, it seems like the Divine Feminine is the one who's going through a little bit of longing for her counterpart. And the Divine Masculine is a little bit of a mystery right now. But the feelings are still there on both sides. Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. 
Divine Feminine's like, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. And Divine Masculine's like, I feel a little bit stuck right now. Please give me some time. This is definitely someone who feels like they are your twin flame. You may feel like, you know, this is, this is mutual. Both of you seem to feel like you two have this kind of twin flame connection and you're overcoming some struggles right now. But your person definitely made a promise to kind of come back to you once they'd finished this cycle. And you're worried that actually a cycle is repeating here. You're worried like, do I need to let this go? Because are we just going round in circles? And your divine masculine saying, please give me a little bit more time. I'm still getting help. I feel lots of the divine masculines here are actually seeking some kind of help, whether it's from friends, family, or it could be like professional help from like a therapist or a counselor. But I see them needing to, to finish this kind of, this help, this healing before they can come in. So give your person some space. If they are avoiding this connection right now, just leave them be and trust that, you know, they will come back in when they feel ready to. Um, it might take a bit of time, but this, if this person's made the promise to come back to you, then I do see them honouring that promise. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's daily love reading. Um, let me know in the comments what resonated and don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe to show your support for my channel.